Hi guys, we are at the Microtech uh, Training Center in Riga and last time uh, when I brought you guys here it was the Microtech Boot Camp where all the um, Microtech beginners, the newbies, become uh, professionals. But this time it is different. Uh, the, train, the trainer event is going on where professionals become uh, teachers. So uh, this is the place and time when um, if you want to learn Microtech stuff uh, and you uh, try to find someone who will teach you, this is the place where these guys uh, are created. So uh, Microtech professionals becoming even more professional. And uh, it's, a, it's a very special set of skills, like you have to be you have to know everything about router OS, the products, but you also need some soft skills, communication, teaching. So let's see what these people have to say. Uh, and hopefully let's get some, some inside info about uh, what do you need to become like one of them. Okay, so just tell us briefly um, what, what is it that you do and how you got here, how you... Uh, what steps did you take to be where you are today? Okay, uh, so my name is Konstantins. Uh, uh, I live in the United Kingdom for the past eight years now. I'm head of technology at a company called Circle Cloud. We do business uh, VoIP communications and network management for uh, small and medium enterprises. Uh, I was starting to work with uh, Microtech equipment since 2006 when I was uh, network administrator for uh, ISP called LotNet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, since, since then just uh, I've been always passionate about uh, Microtech and uh, uh, really proud of our LotNet uh, company. Great. And uh, so uh, a lot of people are changing careers now yeah. to IT. So do you have any advice for uh, people that are... Uh, trying to make this change for the upcoming uh, sysadmins? Just, uh, just pursue, uh, pursue your passion and be passionate about it. Maybe do some extra works, make sure you uh, find interesting uh, topic, whether it could be, I don't know, Kubernetes, Docker, or plain old Linux systems administration, or as for me, it's network uh, about uh, network basics, network routing, BGP, OSPF, and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you need to find yourself in the AT AT is so fast because for example I do Node.js development as well yeah so uh, I started as a systems administrator <laughs> then become a developer then network architect uh, now head of technology and more CTO position it always be prepared to learn something new every day you learn something new you learn from your mistakes you, uh, you complete any challenges that uh, may arise and just uh, in general, to the new uh, generation, just be be passionate about. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the main that's the main uh, main thing and the main drive about that. Thank you. So you heard it here first. Extra work for extra yeah. results. Yes. Thank you. He is my first student. <laughs> oh, great. We'll see if the student surpasses the master. Uh, I think you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always had a, a massive passion with IT. And unfortunately, when I was younger, the door never opened. And uh, eventually, back in 2015, the door opened. And um, I fell into voice over IP and been growing and moving ever since. So, um, I mean, every day, every day is a learning opportunity and it's just having the passion and the drive to get excited and keep learning and, and keep pushing. Mm -hmm. So you say you fell into that. Was it uh, overwhelming at first or was, was it uh, like a natural thing for you? A little bit of both. Um, I mean, I had uh, my own self-taught um, experiences within IT, but uh, I was thrown in the deep end on a subject that I didn't know anything about and was basically told, hey, get on with it. Mm -hmm. So um, it was quite challenging to start with, but now I've grown, I'm, I'm here where I am today. Mm -hmm. So you've come quite far. Uh, any advice for people who are changing careers and just starting out? Uh, any tips or maybe... Uh, words of encouragement? Um, uh, I guess the first one is, you know, never give up. Um, a dream can always become reality with enough work and enough dedication. And, uh, yeah, just find something you're, you're, you're passionate about, you enjoy, and take those big steps and, and keep running with it, really. Mm, great, thank you. So far, the common theme is work 
and passion. So guys, be passionate. In the beginning, it was a story about love. I love a girl, mm. but she didn't love me. Oh. And that's why I love Microchip more than this, this girl. That's her love. <laughs> yeah, so, and step by step, I make a Microchip career, and I'm here. Mm. So, uh, how many years are you in? Uh, 17. 17? Yep. So, that's a long journey. Uh, yeah, it's starting somewhere there. <laughs> Do you, do you see some favorite devices on the wall? Or? Uh, yeah, all of them. Great. And yeah. uh, looking back at these 17 years, have you learned some maybe ideas to make this path easier for someone else? Do you have any tips or suggestions for young people? Yes, of course. This thing, what are we doing right now, just make micro courses, and that is the fastest way to learn network engineering. Mm -hmm. Learn Microtik, so actually I really love Microtik. It's simple, easy, powerful, and your guys are awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, great. Uh, Microtik courses, do them. My name is Alaz Muhyiddinov, I am from Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, I work in company Smart IT Support. We are distributor from Microtik since 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, we become selling Microtik products and uh, we had many requests uh, for teaching something from Microtik. And uh, that's why I decided to become Microtik training, mm -hmm. trainer and teach uh, our people in our country, in, in mm -hmm. our language. Because uh, there is no <coughs> trainer uh, who speaks in Uzbek language, mm -hmm. Microtik. That's what is uh, very important. Uh, for me to become first trainer in Uzbekistan. Oh, Uzbekistan. so you're the first trainer in Uzbekistan. Yeah. Great. Yeah, Uzbek trainer. Uzbek yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and how many years are you working in IT in general? Uh, I work in IT since 29. Mm. About 15 years I work yeah. in IT. Uh, I worked as a network administrator. Uh, on Smart IT, I work since 2019. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's also quite a long journey. Yes, uh, yes. Do you have any advice for people who want to work in IT, who are just studying now or, or maybe dreaming? Uh, I think uh, uh, it's time to begin, to starting, and it's good job. And Mikrotik, uh, we are seeing also uh, rising very good. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Oh, I'm here to become a Microtech trainer because I um, get to know new competency about the training and uh, to enlarge mm -hmm. the new competence at my customer or at my guys or to other people that have want to improve their network competence and have uh, new opportunities in the work and in uh, her life. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many years have you been working in general, like with Microtik or maybe networking in general? Uh, from uh, 2017, mm -hmm. I started to use Microtik and in the 2021 I have the first Microtik certification mm -hmm. and I started a Microtik training center with uh, an uh, old uh, trainer, his name is uh, Alessandro Campanella. Mm -hmm. I am very helpful with you, I appreciate, more, uh, I appreciate very well uh, your help with me hmm. and I uh, train a lot of uh, course with you and I love uh, this uh, type of work to help uh, other person to other people to improve mm -hmm. I, in the last two years I need to study English it is changed my life because yeah. I uh, know new competency I lot I watch a lot of mom presentation it's very helpful for me mm -hmm. to improve my listening capacity and the technical uh, competency yeah. and uh, I think uh, Microtik is a very helpful uh, training uh, material because uh, um, with the cheapest device you can uh, improve your competency mm -hmm. and uh, made uh, some configuration in the powerful uh, devices mm -hmm. as the same or the CAR, mm -hmm. uh, it's a fantastic uh, word. Uh, the Microtik devices. Mm -hmm. So you've done so much in, in uh, such a short time. That's uh, great. 
do you have some advice for people who are uh, who want to work uh, like you, who want to uh, have the same experience and journey? Uh, some tips or advice? Uh, don't be afraid to fail. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, relax. Uh, uh, take uh, a lot. Um, take time. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, fail forward, uh, repeat, 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 uh, and study, uh, deep dive mm -hmm. into the argument that you know. Uh, you have to dig in profundity yeah. to know the secrets of the networking, and uh, it, at, the, at uh, one moment uh, they are clearly crystal mm -hmm. uh, what uh, the device uh, is do. Yeah, thank you, very inspirational. <laughs> Thank you. Ended up in this career and well, basically what are the steps that you had to take to be who you are professionally? Well, I've been uh, teaching for 15 years in networking, security, uh, and I, I got in touch with Microtech uh, 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I started uh, taking Cisco away in my classes and introducing uh, Microtech not only because of the, the, the cheap alternative that it is, but also uh, the, the potential, we can do anything on, mm -hmm. on Microtech uh, from $25 to uh, you know, uh, thousands of dollars. Uh, so uh, that's, that's how I introduce Microtech uh, material to my students. So instead of having uh, you know, the, the one Cisco router in the corner that nobody touches, <laughs> uh, now we can have uh, three, four, five, ten devices for each and every student. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's how I became, uh, I fell in love with Microtech. And uh, the reason why I'm here in Latvia is this is a mecca for <laughs> Microtech enthusiasts. Um, and I'm trying to uh, add something to my career, uh, which is uh, becoming a certified trainer, uh, an official certified trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe some advice for people who want to come here first. This yeah. is an amazing country. I, I rode a bicycle to uh, Yermala yesterday. It was amazing. Uh, we're still still shoveling snow in Canada, where mm -hmm. I live, so it was a total disconnect with my uh, country. Um, so uh, advice for people who want to follow the footsteps: uh, just be curious. Mm -hmm. Just uh, you know, even th even at my age, I, I still want to learn. I'm still curious. Uh, still discover micro tech tricks every day in my classes with students to uh, just try to push the barrier a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, come here, people. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. I, I've heard the saying that uh, a, ri a writer is someone who, who has been reading a lot. Yes. So I guess a teacher is someone who has been learning a lot. Yeah, learning, trying things, trying to break things also, because that's what we do in security. Also, uh, just, just try it uh, forward, try it in reverse, different things, plug it in different ways and, mm -hmm. and just keep trying and mm -hmm. uh, hacking at it and <laughs> grinding at this stuff and knowledge will eventually come. Mm -hmm. So stay curious, guys. Yeah, stay curious. Mm -hmm. Thank come, you so come much. To Latvia. I remember when we launched the web shop, uh, the boxers were the first item to be ordered. Yeah. So there's that. <laughs> that might have been me. <laughs> okay, so tell us briefly how you got here. Uh, how was your career formed over time? Um, so started as an IT guy. I think most uh, network engineers start there. And uh, you quickly kind of understand how broken the internet is and how you know, it, it's, it's really common for internet service providers out in the hills. I'm from California. Uh, they're, just, they're just not very good. And Microtik provided a way to get really good gear with really good speeds, really low latency, all the, all the best stuff to these people that have no way to get internet unless somebody like us kind of comes out there and helps them. So you know, I recognized that and then eventually found Microtik back in um, 2016. And it's, it's just been awesome from there. Mm -hmm. So, um, also quite a long journey. It's been like, like, what, seven years or at least. So, do you have any tips for someone just uh, thinking about switching careers? To a network engineer? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's super fulfilling. It, it's a lot of fun and it, and it feels good to bring people internet when they would have no chance of getting internet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, making a better fabric of the internet for all of us is, is something that it, uh, it feels good to be, mm -hmm. to be part of that solution. Yeah, uh, do you have any perspective or ideas on, uh, well, do you feel like it's manageable for someone uh, like in their 30s maybe to learn? Uh, do you have any colleagues maybe? Who... Yeah, and, and, and Microtech makes it 
really easy to, to get started because uh, router OS, especially with Winbox and, and the CLI is, is super intuitive. It makes a lot of sense, especially if you have some kind of network engineering background. But yeah. e even if you don't, Microtech is, is a great uh, company and device to get started on because because it, it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. and, and it's easy to learn and, and everybody in the community is really happy to teach and learn new things and find new interesting ways to make stuff work. Mm -hmm. So a question from Normunds. What are your plans uh, about uh, regarding the train the trainer certification? Why are you getting that? So it's my philosophy that we need more internet service providers, especially wireless internet service providers. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to help facilitate that and, and allow more last mile providers and middle mile providers and kind of get rid of all of these franchisee big box companies that are, that are against net neutrality and all this stuff. So, so I think with my certification, it'll allow me to kind of train the next generation to yeah. start taking that role. I feel like this is the only business where we all want more competition, not yeah, less. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the world needs more internet service providers, and a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And we only have a handful now. But if we had thousands or maybe even millions of them, if, if everybody in their own neighborhood became an internet service provider, it'd be a much better, much better place on the internet. Definitely. Well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, what we learned today you have to be curious, you have to be passionate. Uh, and we see that there are so many different people joining this beautiful world of um, uh, router OS, of uh, teaching, sharing the knowledge. Uh, guys from California, New Zealand, all over the world. Some, some work for 20 years, some only for 5, 6, less, more. So many different backgrounds. But what unites everyone is the passion for knowledge. So uh, maybe today you saw one of your instructors. If you come to learn uh, Microtech stuff somewhere, maybe one of these guys will be teaching you. Either way, um, it is great to hear so many um, inspiring stories. And uh, uh, as a Microtech employee, I'm just happy to hear that uh, the stuff that we make um, they all said that it's like easy to understand, that it all makes sense, that you can do so many powerful setups with it uh, on a budget. So all of this has been very inspiring for me. I hope it was inspiring for you as well. And um, of course, if you want to learn more, uh, just look for trainers in your area, uh, drop us a message, we'll help you find someone, because these guys... Oh, these guys are great, you heard them. But other Microsoft trainers are just as cool uh, because the number one thing that um, uh, is the main characteristic of uh, Microsoft trainers, as you saw it, is it that these people are very practical, very passionate. It's not some, some boring, outdated uh, academic course where you have to listen for monotonous, like, and this and that. It's, it is fun, it is uh, coherent, easy to follow, and um, yeah, a real practical human touch. Stuff that you can use in your everyday life to make uh, this world a bit better. So there you have it. Come learn Microtech from Microtech professionals. See you next time. <laughs>